My name is Vladimir Mukhin. I'm a chef of Redstone Group of White Rabbit in, from Moscow. I work in the Moscow uh, uh, with my big team and, uh, you know, I think we changed the gastronomy world because we have uh, a big period uh, when we was really closed from Soviet Union period, for example, 75 years. And uh, now we start to change something. Work, working with the in cooking progress, uh, choose a lot of interesting ingredients in Russia and uh, more and more and more and more. Now I travel a lot uh, uh, in the world uh, and uh, of course I, I choose the very interesting ingredients too and uh, now I work with some beautiful and uh, good chefs in the world uh, and it, it's possible. You know, and uh, we work together, they come to me, I come to them and uh, we find uh, the best uh, uh, way for any way, you know. And uh, now uh, I think I take this, uh, I take something from uh, different cultures, take it and uh, come back at home and uh, think about it. Of course, I just uh, traveling not just in the world, I travel in Russia too, because Russia is a very key, big country. It's uh, really, really great. And uh, it's 12,000 kilometers from Siberia part to uh, European part. So, and uh, we uh, have the biggest territory with Asia and Europe. And of course, uh, I travel in Russia and uh, working uh, with some chefs in Russia too, in different uh, towns and cities, and uh, find some interesting ingredients. I think the future in the past, it's my opinion. And uh, I worked now with the uh, interesting ingredients and uh, uh, because we have embargo now in Russia and we can buy some products from uh, different countries and uh, it, it is very interesting because uh, we grow up a lot of uh, our system we grow up a lot of uh, farmers and uh, find interesting uh, something and uh, I, anyway I travel for example and uh, find uh, interesting technology uh, old technology of cooking food for example uh, just uh, two months ago I, I've been near the uh, Rybin, uh, Rybinska uh, Sea, it's a very interesting uh, place, uh, the name of the village is uh, uh, Yaroslavl. I find the interesting uh, way of cooking the uh, Russian soup, the name of this soup uh, is she, you know, uh, this, the name of soup is just coming from 16th century at Russia, before that we never called the soup soup. We called uh, this, uh, this uh, it is different uh, dish. Uh, it's uh, borsh, akroshka, rasolnik, uh, ucha. It's all different soups. So we uh, uh, I travel and find the, the best, the oldest. And after that, I take this recipe. I cook it, uh, cooked it in a Russian wooden stove. And uh, after that, I come back at White Rabbit Lab. We open the White Rabbit Lab now and. Uh, take this recipe because uh, the very very uh, old woman uh, teach me uh, this, this, this how I can prepare this kind of she uh, for a, a 96 she is 96 and she know a lot about it and uh, she give me the recipe I take this kind of recipe come back at uh, white rabbit lab and uh, cooked this kind of she on Rotoval. It's very interesting. And uh, you know, it's uh, very important. My food looks like from future, but when you close your eyes, it's real, real past. It's old tastes of Russian cuisine. Yes, it's, it, it's the role of the memory, yes. When you sit, for example, in the restaurant, close your eyes, you see the place is beautiful after that close the eyes and try it's texture it's a very intensive taste have the food because the russian food with energy inside it's you know it's like peruvian it's like mexican food but it's not the same it's not too spicy it's more 
sour and sweet uh, because the Russian so like sweet tastes so and uh, of course sometimes hot sometimes cold it's different it's very interesting to uh, find uh, uh, real Russian tastes and uh, now I cook in progress and uh, I start from uh, 16th century uh, to find, uh, for example, I have uh, I read a lot of books, and the cooks was not very pro uh, popular professional in Russia, and uh, sometimes cooks can't read, sometimes cook can't write, uh, in the past of course, and uh, uh, they just can't cook, and uh, I try to find a lot of interesting recipes, old recipes. Uh, in the libraries and Russian libraries, and uh, they find they buy a lot of books, old books, and uh, uh, find the oldest one. The name of this Damastroy is how uh, the the our people lives lives uh, uh, in the house. It's about it, and uh, of course I find some interesting stories about the food there. It's very interesting. And uh, of course, I try to find more older. And uh, now I, I write uh, in the, the menu about it in White Rabbit. And the name of this is uh, the the future and the past. And uh, I have twelve uh, um, courses inside about uh, old Russian tastes. And uh, inside, of course, the Swan Liver. And because it's a huge story about the swan in Russia, we eat, eat, eat a lot of swans. It's a porridge. It's about she, uh, the soup from a fermented cabbage. It's about fermented honey. We have a lot of fermented honey and uh, drinks from this. And uh, the kvass is the drink from bread which we boiled. And uh, the name of uh, this some kind of sturgeon because we have a lot of sturgeon and the sturgeon caver. And uh, nobody know that in Russia we have uh, amazing uh, caviar, but different. Not just uh, 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 no, no, we have a cultural of caviar because we uh, take use a lot of caviar inside Russia. It's a pike caviar, it's zander caviar, it's a salmon caviar, it's a kizhuch caviar. A lot I can stop, and uh, it's real cultural about caviar. Everybody know about it, but remember just about uh, red and black. But uh, inside our country we use different one too. It's um, not so expensive, but so tasty. And of course uh, we have, uh, we prepare some, sometimes the, it with salt, sometimes we cooked it. And uh, I, in my set you can find uh, something about it.